How you doing everyone? It's Kevin, uh, back with another video. We're here at the Mini Born Dominium and I've been wiring up the house and I've been using these testers um, to check, to make sure that I'm wiring everything correctly. And I'm going to show you, I've got three different ones here and then I'm going to demonstrate how each one of them work. So let me show you uh, the little testers. These are the three testers that I am using. Uh, I also have a fourth one here, and this just tells you if there's power in the line. Uh, this is not gonna check to see if it's wired up correctly. It's just gonna let you know that it, if it has power in the line. So uh, this is the first one we'll look at. This here, just uh, what it does is you plug it into the outlet, and if you have an open ground, an open neutral, open hot, or hot and ground, it'll reverse. It's gonna let you know what you did wrong while you wired up that outlet with these lights. Each one of these, you can see you have two lights here, and then you'll have a red and a one light here. It just tells you what you've done wrong, which is really nice. This is not a very expensive tool. Uh, to find out if you wired it up correctly. And um, this here, one here, uh, will do exactly the same thing that one does with the lights, tells you what you got wrong, uh, wired up wrong. But this one here will just also, uh, you can push this button to test your uh, GFCI uh, outlets, like you would have around your sinks and different things like that, which is pretty cool. Now this one here is just a little bit better than these two here. This one here does exactly the same thing both of these will do. Uh, it'll check the GFI or GFCI uh, test here. It also does checks to make sure you got everything wired up okay. And it also tells you the voltage in the line. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna demonstrate how each one of these all four of them work. Okay, we'll get started off with this uh, little one here. And this here just tells you if you have power in the outlet itself. So if we take this and stick it down here to this prong, you can see that it's lighting up. It's letting you know that there is power. Okay, I chose uh, this outlet because this one has the uh, GFCI outlet or outlet on the top. Now, one nice thing about a lot of these is they have a tester on them now. You can test them to see if they're uh, bad or good by just pushing a button. And uh, that's pretty cool too. But if you don't have this one, uh, we also have testers for that. And we're going to show you how that works too. Now this is the very, uh, this is the smallest one you can get uh, tester for your outlet. And what you have to do is just plug it in. Now some of these new outlets are a little bit tough to get in because they're tamper proof. So as you can see, the two lights, let me show you here on the bottom are lit, lit up. You want these two to light up. And that tells you that this outlet here is wired up correctly. All right, so let's get on to the next one. This is the next one we're gonna look at. Now this one here will test the GFCI outlet uh, up on the top, the one that's right above this. Let me back up here a little bit. This, uh, is going to tell us whether the outlet is uh, wired up correctly and it's going to test this guy up here at the top. So let's see how this works. We're going to plug it in. Okay, so we can see that our outlet is wired up correctly. Uh, the two lights on the right hand side are lit up and it says right up here we wired it correctly. Now if I push this button up here, this breaker here, or this outlet should shut off. Let's see. All right, so that test told me that this thing is working right. So now we're gonna push this back in. 
and we're going to pull this one out and we're going to go to our next one. This is the biggest one, probably the best one. Uh, and this guy here does three different things. It's going to test to make sure that our outlet is wired up correctly. It's going to check the GFCI breaker up here. And it's also going to tell us our voltage in this little uh, window right here. So we're going to go ahead and plug this one in. Okay, so as you can see, it's correct. Let's push this. Shuts that off. That's good. We'll put that back on. Now I'm going to show you the reading to show you how many volts it's running. So as you can see, it's uh, running, uh, you know, between 20 and 22 uh, volts uh, through that circuit, which is good. All right, that's a quick look at how each one of these work. Uh, the small one is a good one to have because at least you know whether you wired it up correctly or not. And it does make it pretty simple. All you have to do is look on the little chart on the, on the side of it and it tells you what you did wrong so you know what to check for when you get in there. Now, uh, the uh, second one which does the uh, GFCI test on that outlet, uh, it does the same exact thing. It tells you what's wrong by each light that lights up. Then you also can push the button and shut the GFCI uh, uh, breaker which is pretty cool. Uh, the third one, so this big one uh, does exactly the same thing as the other two. It tests to see what you've done wrong, if you have anything wrong. You can check your GFCI uh, breaker by pushing the button and then it gives you the voltage. This one's just a little bit more expensive than the other two. Uh, and this one here, the one that I used to test to make sure if it had power in it at all, uh, if one of these don't light up, you know, it's always best to have two ways of testing electricity instead of one. They're all mechanical and something can go wrong with one of them just as well. Actually, it could go wrong with two of them. So at least two different ways to test your electricity before you go touching it. And if I was you, I'd be safe and just hit the breaker. It makes a lot more sense just to turn the breaker off before you go touching any wires. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Uh, if you are interested in any of these, uh, I'll leave some Amazon links down there. I do appreciate everyone using the Amazon links. Uh, you don't have to buy what I put in uh, the description down below. Uh, I get a small commission on qualifying purchases which help us out here and it doesn't cost you nothing more you will not pay any more than you would if you just went to Amazon and bought it it just takes you a little bit more time to click on my link um, and purchase something there and like I said we get a small commission from it and I do appreciate everybody uh, using their links so I uh, hope this helped everyone out just a little bit uh, make sure you hit that breaker though before you go touching any uh, bare wires or any outlets. Uh, that's the best thing to do. If you're going to pull a cover, turn the breaker off. So, I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.